What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog, back with my Browns Bears preseason week three preview as the Browns wrap up the 2022 NFL preseason at home in the dog pound against the Chicago Bears. Now, before I get into talking about this game, there's something else I got to talk about because I was looking through my Twitter timeline last night and this came up. And my God, I freaking saw this and I damn near wanted to throw something. Like, what the heck is this? Eagles fans, do you seriously think this could actually work for you? Like, do you think Andrew Barry would actually accept this trade? Now, I have a feeling this was satire, but still, I mean, look at it. Kareem Hunt and a second round pick to the Eagles for Gardner Minshew? Why would we give up a pick and Kareem for another quarterback? Make no sense. Not at all. Need another quarterback? I mean, if we didn't trust Jacoby Brissett, we would have traded for Jimmy G by now. I mean, come on, man. Get real, bruh. Get serious. I mean, you look at the top left and it says via Dan Saleo, and I'm like, yep, this is definitely a joke. That dude is notorious for capping on Twitter. People actually believe what he says. Like, this dude just be spewing garbage out, I swear. He's one of those guys that swears he's legit, but it's like, uh, okay. Well, name one time when you got something right. Like, he said that uh, the Browns and Eagles are discussing a trade for Kareem Hunt. Okay. Even though Andrew Berry came out and said that we're not trading Kareem Hunt right now. Okay. I'm not saying we're going to trade him. I just don't think we're going to trade him right now. You know. See what happens, though. Now, of course, you know, you watch any Eagles content creators stuff, and, you know, they're so sure that they're going to get him. You know, of course, the picture surfaced of Nick Sirianni talking to Kareem, and all of a sudden, Eagles Twitter just went. It exploded. You know, because they're like, oh, my God, they're going to get him. Oh, my God, they're going to get him. I'm like, well, they could just be talking. You, you can't freaking have discussions with each other. Normal discussions. Saying, how's the family? You know, how's life? <laughs> it's the way it is, though, around this time of year. A lot of moves being made. Although the Browns have been awful quiet when it comes to, you know, like moves besides, you know, making cuts. Like, they haven't. You know, been engaged in trade talks, although I have heard they have been scouring the receiver market. Because you look at our receiving core right now, uh, not good. Not good. After Amari and DPJ, it's a whole lot of mid. David Bell's a rookie, so you really shouldn't expect much out of him. I think he'll be alright, but I mean, you don't want to put too much on his plate, you know, as a rookie. You know, you got Anthony Schwartz, who up to this point, I think he forgot he had hands. Like, <laughs> the dude up until recently has been all speed, no hands. Although, I will say, in that Eagles preseason game, he did make some good catches. If he can do that consistently, I think he's got something cooking. I think he can be really good if he can consistently use those hands. <laughs> For real. But we'll see what happens with Kareem Hunt. I wouldn't be shocked if we traded him, but if we do trade him, it'll be for a wide receiver. Yep. Maybe Jalen Rager or something. Honestly, if I was to trade for a receiver, I think I would go for Darius Slayton. That seems to be the guy that Browns Twitter has their eyes on. So we'll see what happens. If they don't cut him, which if they do cut him, then that'll be even better for us because we won't have to give up any draft assets. Although. I know other teams would try to sign him. So, at least via trade, you can assure yourself that you're getting him, just like what happened with Amari. So, we'll see what happens regarding uh, Kareem Hunt and, you know, our receiving core. 
phrase, let's talk about this game, shall we? Against the Bears. By the way, before I get into this again, shout out to any Bears fans watching. Shout out to my guy Josh from the Sports Fury and any other Bears fans watching this. You know, uh, you got my guy Justin Fields at quarterback. And I swear to God, if you freaking ruin him, I'm going to freaking hate your team for life. For real. Because Justin Fields is my guy. You know? And so far, what you guys have been doing? Ugh, disappointing me. Receiving core is a whole lot of mid right now. But you have a good running core. Your offensive line isn't complete garbage, from what I've seen. You know, you got some potential there. Tight end's looking good. My God, man. Get him some freaking receivers. Freaking receiving core he's working with over there. Byron Pringle. <laughs> That's like one of the only names. Oh, Phyllis Jones Jr. Ha 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 ha. Come on, man. Get real with that. If you freaking waste him away or completely ruin him. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, man. I just don't know. Yeah, in regards to this game, there's not a whole lot to talk about. You know, uh... Like, uh, word on the street is the Bears are probably going to be playing their starters. I don't know how long or how many of their starters, but I did hear that they'll be playing their starters. So I wonder if Kevin Stefanski will follow suit and play some of his starters, at least the series, just to get him some snaps. Especially Jacoby Brissett, being as he has yet to step on the field in a game situation for the Browns. He did not play in either the first two games. I thought he would have played week one, but then you know, all they kept him out. But I wonder if they're going to play him, especially with uh, Deshaun, you know, going to be suspended with Deshaun's impending suspension. But yeah, I wonder if we're also going to play Deshaun too, being as the next time we'll see him after this game is week 13 against Houston. I'm sure they'll play him a little bit, you know, just so he's not like completely rusty. Be a little rusty, but... You know, at least to have some more snaps besides week one, which was horrendous. You know, I don't know if you can have a worse outing than he did week one of the preseason. Only one completion. I mean, it really wasn't his fault. I mean, the receivers all had stone hands. So, I mean, maybe we'll have a better showing this week if they play him. But it'd be interesting to see, you know, how many of our starters play. And for how long? I expect Jacoby to get at least a series out there. But other than Jacoby, I don't really know who else is going to play. But yeah, with that being said, guys. Again, not really a whole lot to talk about regarding this game. Should be an interesting one. You know, final preseason game of the year. So I expect a lot of the guys on the bottom of the roster to put it all out there. Trying to show that they deserve to have a spot. Now, if there are three players that I'm going to have my eyes on this Saturday, it's definitely Isaac Rochelle, because that dude has been balling lately. I'm going to say D'Anthony Bell, because he's been making some plays. And my final guy is going to be Zaire Mitchell-Payton. Those are my three guys to watch this week. And I think if they all ball out, I think they all could make the team. Yep. They definitely have a shot. Now, of course, in case you don't know how things work, we play on Saturday. I believe Tuesday is the deadline to cut your roster down to 53, so I expect the Browns to be very active, you know, uh, when it comes to the trade market. Maybe even before the game. Maybe they make a trade or two, you know? Give some of these bubble players a chance to maybe latch on somewhere else. You never know. I mean, there might be something. I expect them to be uh, pretty busy on the waiver wire, too. But we'll see what they do. I expect them to maybe add a couple pieces, maybe a receiver or something for depth. But again, we'll see what happens. And if they do anything, I'll be sure to let you know. So let me know in the comments uh, what you think about the Browns heading into the final preseason game. Who are three players that you're going to be keeping your eye on in this game? and. Uh, and maybe there's any other stuff you want to talk about in the, you know, in the comments. 
maybe how the Bears are uh, looking like a total mess right now and that they need to get things going because they got my guy Justin Fields at quarterback and I swear to God, if they freaking waste his talents, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> no lie. You know? I don't hate the Bears. It's just like, come on, don't mess them up. You know, you got yourself a stud at quarterback, man. Don't freaking botch this. Because I'm going to be mad. <laughs> you know? But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. As always, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for more and everything. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night for Guardians and Padres. Until then, I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go Browns. And I'm out. Bye-bye. Oh,